and we're back for another episode. In this episode we're going to be carrying on the new crafters leveling series for levels 25 to 30. And as always, hello from Ori. So I know you guys have been waiting patiently for this video, so I'm going to try and keep it as basic and as simple as I can. So what we're going to do for this um, episode is we're going to cover um, how to progress on quickly. So for 25 to 30, we're going to be doing more of the same. You're going to keep doing the Grand Company delivery quests. So turn in all of these. By now you should be getting high qualities consistently as well. Using the macros which I will type in the description. When you're doing the crafting. Come to your grand company. And you can buy the different engineering manuals. Depending if you have enough. Um, you should have plenty of seals. If you've been doing every single day the seals. Uh, turn-ins for the grand companies. You should have enough now to start buying these, the engineering manual twos. So the these are an upgrade from the previous manuals we've been using because they will give you a 50% boost in experience up to 40,000 points. So these cost 2,300 whereas these ones cost 1,400 but they only give you a 50% boost of 20,000. So for just a little over 800 seals more you can get double the reward so I would say start using these now company issued uh, engineering manuals too and as well um, keep doing the exali dailies as well to boost up your crafting now one thing I'm gonna quickly do is show you some quick tricks that you can do which will save you time in terms of upgrading your gear now, one of the main upgrades to get at level 25 are the horn earrings and to upgrade your main hand and offhand tool. You can upgrade your armor as well, but it's not as important. I would say that the main hand, offhand and the horn earrings will give you the biggest boost. Now, you might wonder, okay, is uh, an option available for me? Are there upgrades even available for me? And uh, one thing to note is, is that um, the way to check is to use the market board. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. But I want you to note something. If you finished all of the level 25 quests, you're given a bunch of um, item level 24 to 25 offhand tools. So let's look at this one. Initiates culinary and knife. You can see it's got 50 craftsmanship, 29 control. So if we quickly go on to culinary and we compare it to what we have, we made the high quality iron culinary knife at level 20 so you see that's got 51 craftsmanship 29 control this level 24 item normal quality has got 50 craftsmanship 29 control so in fact the one we crafted five levels ago because it's high quality is actually better but what we can quickly do you go to the market board Let, let's say for now we're concerned with culinary because that's what we just happen to be equipped with you can click on the culinary tools button and what it will do, it will automatically set the level to be your culinarian's level and show you the gear that's available to you. So you can see here, initiates culinarian knife, I said it's worse. And uh, let's see. Yeah, there were some high qualities for sale, but you know, uh, basically the reason to use this option is to see what are the highest level items available to you. And it will give you a very quick indication about whether these items are an upgrade for you or not. So you see here it says 8 and then next to it it has a green plus 1. It's basically saying that this iron frying pan is higher value let's say or better for you than the one you're wearing right now. So let's compare. So right now we're wearing a high quality initiate skillet that's got 7 physical damage, 50 craftsmanship, 28 control. This one has got 8 physical damage, 49 craftsmanship, 28 control. And the high qualities have got 55 craftsmanship, 32 control. So obviously that's an upgrade from this one. Now, obviously we're not going to be buying it for 10k, we're going to be making it ourselves. Now the significant of this though, however, is the plus 1 physical damage will give you a much, much bigger boost than the 5 craftsmanship. 
So this is a reason to go for it, is the plus physical damage. That will give you more of an upgrade than anything else, because that's how it works in this game. The primary stat on an item, such as uh, physical damage, weapon damage, things like that, gives you the biggest single increase in uh, effectiveness of the tool. So that will be my recommendation at the start, is make your horn earrings and your upgraded tools use the market board as well now one issue you might have is is that when you look for example through blacksmith let's say i want to upgrade my um blacksmith main hand tool and you open up the blacksmith menu the problem with it is is that when you initially open it you're like oh this is a lot of items where do i possibly find the one i'm looking for and the way to do it quickly and the way to do it effectively is to so for example we want to upgrade our blacksmith tool so what you can do is you can use this drop down you can select here blacksmith primary tool and it filters the list to only be your primary tool for blacksmith so we can see 24 okay and then this one is uh, 29 so obviously i'm not going to worry about this until the next video Okay, so as I said, uh, you should really use the blacksmith uh, primary tool for, or whatever the primary tool for is for all of them, they're all available, to find the items you want quickly. So, yeah, so that's it. So as I said before, keep doing these early dailies, keep doing the Grand Company dailies, keep making one of every single item on the crafting log. I will put into the description the macros that I'm using. I have two different macros, one for 70 durability and another one for 40 durability, which still applies. It hasn't changed in any way. We haven't gained enough CP uh, since level 20 to change the rotation just yet. And that's it. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me. Goodbye from Ori. And I'll see you at level 30. Keep it going, guys. We're almost there.